Cardboard, the perennial unsung hero of commerce. It's often painted and crafted to distribute and contain everyday products. Everything from food and merchandise to pharmaceuticals and of course shipping. So what happens when simple everyday cardboard fuses with technology? Well, you get cardboard from Google, the inexpensive entry-level device to the world of VR. You know, virtual reality. Hey everyone, it's Paul. Stick around while I help you set up your Google Cardboard. Oh, and I'll even share my thoughts about it too. Google Cardboard is nothing new. Debuting at the Google I.O. in 2014, it was developed from the famous 20% projects at the Google Cultural Institute in Paris. Cardboard is assembled from, well, obviously foldable cardboard, along with 45mm plastic lenses and a magnet or capacitive tape lever to operate the screen. Google even offers instructions so you can design and build your own viewer. If cardboard isn't quite your thing, the Google Play Store has a few other options that are cardboard compatible. They are just a little more expensive. There will be a link in the description so you can check them out. When your cardboard arrives, in just a few moments you can be up and running, exploring the world of VR. Just open the box and follow the picture instructions to assemble. No wires, no batteries, just simply a few folding steps and you're basically done. And that's the point of Google Cardboard, to offer people who may not truly be interested in virtual reality enough to spend money on higher end headsets, a quick and easy, affordable glimpse into the world that is VR and still be able to enjoy it. And yes, Cardboard will work with the iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus. Next, you need to install the app. To get started, on your device, go to the Google Play Store for Android and the App Store for iOS. Search for and install the Cardboard app. Once installed, open the app. It will ask for permission to access photos and media. Once you've authorized this permission, it is now time to pair Cardboard to your device. Simply click the orange and white arrow located next to the phrase, Let's get you set up. Cardboard will ask for permission to take photos and record video. Once you have approved this, all that's left is to simply scan the QR code located on the cardboard and voila, setup is complete. Cardboard will now ask you to place your device inside the box and will switch your phone to VR mode. The Cardboard app provides a few demos to help introduce you to the VR world. Additionally, there are a variety of apps, from games to videos and even educational, made specifically for Cardboard and is available for you to download and enjoy. Google has even developed a few apps to work with Cardboard. Street View has been adapted for Cardboard so you can get the feeling that you're at a specific location. In theory, you could walk up and down streets with Street View and Cardboard, but I highly discourage it. Cardboard Camera allows you to take 360 degree pictures with or without sound for you to enjoy at a later date or to show off to your friends and family, and even upload it for others to view. And then there's YouTube, which offers hours of 360 degree movies, clips, and content for you to experience. Now remember, Cardboard is a VR entry level product. While the quality is surprisingly good for the price and build materials, don't expect to be able to immerse yourself in more complicated and higher end apps and abilities that higher priced VR headsets can offer. Immediately noticed is the lack of a head strap, which will cause cardboard to get uncomfortable extremely fast. Also, because it only has one taped button, you'll be required to use your phone frequently to make adjustments to the apps, whereas higher end headsets offer controls. And it is cardboard, so don't forget about water. It is extremely sensitive to water. With that said, the original premise behind Google Cardboard holds strong. If you're unsure or just curious about VR, or you're just looking for that next great piece of tech to show off to your friends and family, the Google Cardboard is perfect. It's great for short bursts of entertainment and will definitely give everybody that wow factor. However, if you're looking to truly dive into the world of VR, then I can't recommend Cardboard over other devices like the Gear VR or the HTC Vive. The higher price points for these devices will give you a far more rewarding and comfortable VR experience for longer periods of time. So what is your thoughts or experiences on Cardboard like? Share them in the comments below. Also, what is your favorite VR headset or your favorite apps? Let us know in the comments below. And also, don't forget to like and subscribe to these videos. And we'll see you next time. While the quality... Can you believe I just did that? I stumbled again. 
also because it only has one single tape button. One single tape. Pay attention. You'll be able to immerse yourself in the higher end apps and abilities that more... Pro wow.